Hey everyone, my name is Alan Berger. I'm a 3D digital fashion artist and welcome to part three of this tutorial series where we are creating a boxy t-shirt in Clo 3D. And today we are focusing on finishing the hems of the sleeves and the body's parts, as well as adding fabrics and coloring them. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and also hit the bell for new videos and if you find the time check out my Patreon where I'm focusing on further Clo 3D tutorials and 3D in general. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, as a next step we are going to add the hems and we do this by moving to our sleeve pattern piece. And then we are going to choose the edit pattern tool by selecting Z. And we're going to right click and choose the offset pattern outline option. We, we are going to extend this pattern by 20 mil for the hemline and adi an additional 20 mil for the fold that we're doing inwards. But we're going to do the offset as 20 and choose 2 as the number of offsets as well as create internal lines to be able to fold the pattern piece inside again. So we're going to select this internal line in the center and we're going to fold this in again with our fold arrangement tool. We're going to select the green arrow and fold this in again. And if it's correct, we did the same on the right side because it's still a symmetric piece. And now we are going to choose the segment sewing tool by pressing N again, or we'll choose the freeze sewing tool with M because we have this still as two segments. So we can select the whole length, choose this, and then choose this. And then we are going to simulate and we have a nice hemline gonna help this with the simulation a bit. What's going on here? Pull it out a bit. Sometimes these things happen, just need to help it a bit. Okay, and then we still need to sew the ends together where we also choose the free sewing tool by selecting this part here and then also this part and then we simulate again okay and this worked well okay nice we also going to add a hem to the to the lower part of this of the body's pieces where we are going to do the same and exactly the same we are going to right click offset pattern outline extend distance 20 two offsets create internal lines okay the same here sorry for repeating myself but i'm trying to over communicate these things since this is like a beginner tutorial i hope this doesn't annoy you too much okay so then we are going to select uh, the internal lines again and fold them up with the arrangement tool. Choose the green arrow here. Fold it inside. I'm going to zoom in a bit so this gets clearer. The same for the back bodies piece. I only need to select one since we are since we are still in symmetric mode. Okay, this worked well. And now we are going to sew this together as well with the free sewing tool M. We learned that already. So apologies for the noise in the background since my colleagues are playing with the with the duck. Okay, I'm gonna make this a half sewing here because this is still symmetric. Okay, then Gonna simulate and the same for this part. Start here, here. 
same for this part and then I think we need to still sew together the ends which is this part and this part this part oh sorry I made a mistake we don't need to sew these ends together we can sew these two ends together so we're going to choose this one this one exactly and the other parts also have been sewn together and now we have nice looking hems okay and for the internal lines we can do the same step as for the internal line on the neckline we're going to select this internal line and choose fold rendering on i'm gonna simulate this by going closer here choose this neckline this internal line press fold rendering on so we don't have this bulky fold and the same here to choose this to fold rendering also here Fold rendering. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna simulate again. Okay, this looks nice already. Okay. As a next step, we are going to add fabrics to actually make this visually more appealing now. So let's go into the library and choose a uh, fabric for the neckline first and therefore I'm typing rib into that search bar okay we have a few selections here I think these are the new materials from Clo and these are the same but they are just named differently so I'm going to use the new ones here and pull this on this, on this pattern piece directly. So we actually added a uh, material directly, a new one for the neckline. And we can drag the, the fabric that we want to choose for the main parts onto this material to replace it. And therefore we are going to use the knit terry, I assume. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, the search didn't work. Fabric, knit. Interesting, there was something wrong. We're gonna choose the knit, Terry. Okay, we're gonna drag this here. Okay, how does this look like? Let's check. Yeah, I think that's quite nice for a, for a, for a fabric, for a t-shirt. Okay, then we are going to close the library again. We're going to update the colors. So let's click we're gonna save first. Okay, let's save in the mid of the process to save this milestone. And then we are going to choose a color. Okay, which color are we going to use? We are, let's go with a dark one. Let's go with the tuxedo, I would say. Okay, also for the color, for the neckline, tuxedo. Okay, okay, this feels a bit darker. What's happening? Okay, this is somewhat a different color. Let's check again. Is this the same tuxedo? Okay, I don't get why this is darker than this one now. Ah, I think it is because of the base color. Since this is darker, ah, I see. Okay, uh, let's try the recolor option oh, this doesn't work the desaturate option as well as here the desaturate option and then it should match actually okay now it matches okay we need to desaturate both of them to actually be able to make them look similar in color so that's it for this chapter Congratulations if you made it until here and in the next part we are going to add top stitches to the hems 
as well as to the neckline. Thanks for watching. Bye.